new era in water installation has begun. The advanced technology of PEX pipe is now available for you to take advantage not only of easy and fast installation, but also durable and safe and corrosion-proof plumbing. This meets the exacting demands and challenges created by an environmentally conscious world. Surely, we all know what this tool is. But can you imagine an installation without a blow lamp? My colleagues and I couldn't imagine it either. Until we saw it being done in this eight apartment house. The following video film is to enable you to share our experience. The recording is live and neither of us are actors. Before the inside is plastered, the PEXA pipe guides are fitted at the carcassing stage to enable easy threading of the pipes in walls and floors. But first, let's look at the hot and cold water distribution. In this case, the 8-port PEXA pipe secondary distribution manifold is fed from a 3-port primary manifold. The supply starts at the water meter of each apartment. The drinking water installation begins at the primary distribution manifold at the main supply point to the house. This feeds the mains pressure hot water cylinder or combination boiler and the secondary distribution manifold supplying water to WCs, basin, sinks, baths and so on. The PEXA pipe distributors are either mounted on walls in airing cupboards or in kitchen units. They're also used as the central supply points for all the heat emitters, radiators or underfloor heating in each of the apartments. Mounting the varying dimensions of pipes is no problem because of the easily interchangeable compression fittings that can be used on the manifold. The pipe is a flexible PEX pipe in a conduit. All one has to do is unreal the pipe from the coil onto the floor, where it will be covered later with screed, and connect to the manifold, which has already been mounted on the wall. The PEXA pipe distribution manifold and fittings are made of high quality material gunmetal for the hot and cold distribution system and brass for the radiator connection. Water outlet compression fittings such as this system elbow are easily and quickly connected to the PEX pipe. Only a very small quantity of water is carried in the pipe between the manifold and the outlets as we have eliminated the large diameter copper pipe from which we would have normally branched off to the outlets. This copper pipe and its branches are spread throughout the floor with many of the soldered joints inaccessible. The PEX pipe is now connected to the basin water outlets these are the wall elbow assembly units plastered in position after the wall has been chased. With the PEXA pipe system, the conduit pipe needs no additional insulation, which is not the case with soldered copper pipes. The conduit also protects from condensation and provides sound insulation. The PEXA pipe system with its conduit meets BS 6700 good practice requirements for ducted pipes in building structures. All 
all the outlets in a bathroom or a kitchen are connected to the manifold using continuous joint-free 16mm PEX pipe. But now, back to the central heating plumbing. After plastering, all connection guides are sawn off flush. The PEX pipes are threaded into these guides ready for connection to radiators. PEX pipe is also easily threaded into drilled, rather than notched, timber joists. Then the pipes are unreeled as far as the distributor and cut off to the right length and connected using compression couplers. PEX pipe is coated with anti-oxygen diffusion barrier when used with radiators to reduce corrosion in the metal parts of the heating system. The pipe is tested and approved by national water authorities such as the UK Water Research Council. IPEC heating supplies a wide range of radiator fittings to suit most types of radiators and meet your requirements. It is advisable to mark the connection points so that the PEX pipes can be adjusted easily at a later stage. Radiators can be individually connected to separate manifold outlets. Pipe in its conduit can be concealed in solid floors and walls without having to construct expensive ducts. As you'll see, the pipes are now hidden behind the radiator. This is a unique way of connecting radiators which enables decorating work to be done behind a working radiator. The rest of the plumbing installation is completed after the final decoration of walls by connecting all taps to the water outlet fittings already in place. Do not forget to install thermostats on each radiator to save energy. Now that I come to think of it, I don't really need this soldering torch anymore.